Hi Libras, welcome back to my channel. This is Dancing Star TV. For my subscribers, I'm sorry for being MIA for this past year and a half, but I'm back. And for the new joiners, welcome to my channel. I'm Dancing Star TV. Um, I'm a tarot reader, reader and um, I would like to do your reading. There's no dates on my reading. Whenever you get the message and when you're, is when you're supposed to get it. All right, Libra, so I tried to do your reading a couple of days ago. Then, video pause, things happened, tried to do another reading, I got interrupted, so I just let a couple of days pass, and now I'm going to do your reading. All right, so I shuffled the card, Libra, I meditated to your energy, the collective mostly, so I hope the message is going to resonate. Okay, Libra, let's start. All right, so the first card we have is the Ace of Swords. And the second card we have is the Devil. All right, but I have to say the Devil came out first, so I'm gonna place it first. And then I'll place the Ace of Swords. All right, Libra, here you are presenting yourself as Justice, a major arcana, Justice. This is a card of Libra, okay? We have the chariot, which is cancer card, but it's also the card of moving forward. I'm glad to see you're in your energy, Libra. That's really nice. We have the knight of sword, a lot of movement forward, Libra. Really? Again, air energy, we have the Two of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Three major, four major arcanas. And the Queen of Cups, strong Cancer energy. We have the Two of Pentacles, Libra. Right. So before I continue with the shuffling deeper and getting out the messages, you were faced with a choice. All right. You were definitely faced with a choice with two options or two two. You had two situations that you can go forward with, all right? You knew the truth about something. You knew the truth about something with the Ace of Swords here. You have the Sword of Truth, let's say. Clarity, understanding, high thought, high thoughts. Um, uh, certainty all right and look at you holding that sword in your hand in the justice card so you're holding that truth dear to your heart and that situation was kind of like it could have been a test it could have been a lesson and it could have or it could have been a discovery all right you moved forward you took a decision that made you move forward very swiftly. This is also, the Knight of Swords is also the card of messages. Strong messages coming your way, strong insight, information, running, coming your way, all right? Coming towards you. So a lot of information was coming towards you, maybe to complement that truth that you already know. All right? Maybe that situation made you a little bit guarded with the Two of Swords. Maybe it made you a little bit guarded with your emotions. Maybe you were really using your mind here because we have three sword cards. 
mental energy, mental strength, mental ability. So you're really guarding your heart here with the Queen of Cups. You are keeping your emotions to yourself, you know, mind over heart kind of, kind of thing. You actually turned your back on, on your emotions when it comes when it came to that. You turned your back on emotions, feelings. Um, I don't want to say weakness because to feel is not a weakness, but sometimes feeling can be a weakness in front of a situation where we were supposed to use our logic, our mind, maybe put ourselves first. All right, Libra. All right, I'm going to come to this message in a bit, but I would like to take out more cards first. Wow. You have crazy earth energy right now. So I guess you, you shifted your focus to your... Wow, okay. And we have the tower card on the bottom of the deck. I'm really sorry for the lighting and for the quality of the video. That's what I can do with right now. Soon I'll get better equipment, okay? We have the Nine of Swords, normal. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. So Libra, following the messages that I just gave you, you have the Two of Pentacles, Earth Energy. You have the Nine of Pentacles, also Earth Energy. And you have the Page of Pentacles also earth energy okay so for me it's kind of clear that you were definitely moving towards stability on earth maybe you went to focus more on your job on your earthly creations on the things that are solid on an, on the earthly realm all right you were using your mental energy to detach yourself from your emotions and to put that mental energy into the creation of something that is tangible, all right? Something that has to do with matter, money, a job, um, a project, something that can have a return on the earthly realm, all right? So then the interesting two um, last cards that came out are the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. And these cards are telling me that basically you still have like a mental struggle, okay? But it's the number nine. So it's like the soon to close that cycle, all right? But it's only normal because when we soon want to finish with the number 10, the Ten of Pentacles, when we're soon going to reach a completion, a fruition, we, we all, you know how they say it's darkest before dawn? This is kind of the thing. Like everything was going well, ace of sword, nine, knight of sword, two of sword. So other than the knight of sword being messages coming to you, let's talk about on a, on a higher level, the sword energy. The sword energy is mental energy, putting all your focus into logic, into as I said before, sorry if I'm repeating myself. When you reach to the Nine of Swords, you're, you're going to reach a certain level of maybe doubt, maybe asking yourself a question, did I make the right decision? Was it the right decision to make, for example? Um, will I regret, you know? You'll still feel a little bit of back and forth questioning yourself, okay? But when you overcome that, my darling Libra, you're going to reach the Ten of Pentacles. That creation that you're working on in the earthly realm, it's finally going to reach to um, to a completion. It's going to reach to a reaching a goal, for example. It's going to reach to um, accomplishments. Okay, my Libra? So these are the messages. I hope it resonates with you. Um, definitely keep your mind on evolving yourself on your creation, on your own thing. Maybe you can leave that devil energy behind right now. I can see that you have a lot of mental strength, Libra. Well, you're the king and queen of, of air, at least to me. I love Libras. And I'm a Taurus, and we're both um, 
um, ruled by Venus. So I have an affinity for Libras, definitely. I love all zodiacs, but I do have an affinity for Libras. All right, and um, maybe it is the time to really focus on your mental um, abilities, but also your earthly creations. I know I repeated myself, but this is the main message that wants to come out. Maybe it's not the time to go back to your emotions. Um, maybe once you have put that mental capacity into your creation, maybe then you can start once you're stable, Libras need to be stable, they need to have their foundation laid in order to then move to the luxury of adding emotions and decorating their life with with emotional matters, all right? This is, this is what, what Libras are best at, okay? So my darling Libra, at the bottom of the deck, you have the tower, all right? And the tower is not a scary card. It, it is a major arcana, but it's also about renewal getting rid of the old for the new to enter all right it's getting rid of what no longer serves you libra in order for your creation to come into fruition and in order to create to cool very simply in order to create you need to get rid of toxic energy you need to get rid of you you, you need to evolve to a place where it's empty of toxicity negativity and darkness all right libra and you're presenting yourself as the justice card here yourself this is the major arcana for libra you're presenting yourself as yourself so whatever approach that you're taking as long as you are aligned with your own energy which i can see that you are at this point my darling then you have really nothing to worry about all right my libra moving forward is the right way you're going to get confirmation you're going to get signs that this is the right way and you can go ahead and create yes turning your back on your emotions can be healthy sometimes i'm all about feeling our emotions and expressing them but sometimes it could be healthy just to keep our focus and eyes on the bull bullseye eyes on the goal all right <laughs> sorry about that eyes on the goal libra wonderful my darling so i hope that resonated with you I hope you enjoyed my reading. If you'd like a private reading, just shoot me an email. I don't know if the links at the bottom, uh, at the description below works. If it doesn't, just shoot me an email. Like, share, comment, subscribe. That also makes me happy, my darling. So thank you so much. And as I always say, see you when the sun rises. Ciao, Libra.